Russia's defense ministry has announced that its forces have thwarted a large Ukrainian attack in the eastern province of Donetsk. Though it's unclear if this was the start of a Ukrainian counteroffensive. The ministry, in a rare early morning video, said its forces pushed back a large-scale Ukrainian assault at five points in southern Donetsk. Remember, Donetsk is one of the four Ukrainian regions that Russia has illegally annexed. However, there's no response from Kiev after a video was posted showing troops urging silence about when and where a long-awaited counteroffensive was to begin. Earlier, Ukrainian authorities alleged that Russia had launched a new wave of airstrikes against Ukraine, striking an airfield in the central region, but failing to hit the capital city. Analyzed in great detail how Russia circumvents sanctions and who helps it. Different countries, different companies, without which Russia would not be able to produce the means of terror, in particular missiles. Unfortunately, the terror state manages to use the technologies of the world through a network of suppliers, manages to bypass international sanctions. We see every direction, where existing sanctions are circumvented, every country whose territory or jurisdiction, whose citizens are being used by Russia to perpetuate terror. And we must close all such directions, together with our partners, so that there are no products of the free world in Russian missiles, in Russian weapons. Necessary steps will be taken. On the morning of June 4, the enemy launched a large-scale offensive in five sectors of the southern Donetsk direction by introducing into battle 23rd and 31st mechanized brigades from the strategic reserves of the armed forces of Ukraine with the support of other military units and subunits. In all, six mechanized and two tank battalions of the enemy were activated. The enemy's goal was to break through our defenses in the most vulnerable, in its opinion, sectors of the front. The enemy did not achieve its tasks. It had no successes. As a result of the skillful and competent actions of the Eastern Group of Forces, the losses of the armed forces of Ukraine amounted to more than 250 personnel, 16 tanks, 3 infantry fighting vehicles and 21 armoured fighting vehicles. The commander of the United Group of Troops, the chief of the general staff of the Russian Armed Forces, General of the Army Gerasimov, was at one of the forward command posts in this direction. Grainy aerial footage released on Sunday by a militant group of Russians fighting on behalf of Ukraine purports to show its members storming into a suburb of the Russian city of Belgorod. The Freedom of Russia Legion and another group, the Russian Volunteer Corps, have claimed they've conducted a number of cross-border raids into Russian territory from Ukraine. Last week, Moscow said two civilians were killed during fighting. In a video posted to the Freedom of Russia's Telegram channel, a man identifying himself as the commander of the Russian Volunteer Corps said his fighters had captured two wounded Russian soldiers. The man offered to exchange them in a meeting with Belgorod's regional governor. The governor, Vyacheslav Gladkov, responded on his own Telegram channel. Gladkov said there was a battle going on with saboteurs and terrorists in a Russian border town. He said he was willing to meet with the militants to ensure the return of captives if they were alive. He gave the name of a border checkpoint and a time. But later on Sunday, the militant group said it would hand over the prisoners to Ukraine after the governor failed to turn up as promised. Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year has in recent weeks and months come home to Russia. Gladkov said Ukrainian forces shelled Belgorod over the weekend, adding that 4,000 residents were relocated for their safety. Ukraine has denied attacks inside Russia. Meanwhile, Russian bombardment of Ukrainian cities continues. Ukrainian officials said a Russian missile attack on the city of Dnipro killed a two-year-old girl and injured at least 22 people. Reuters could not independently verify the report. There was no immediate reaction from Moscow. The border skirmishes and airstrikes come as Ukraine readies an expected counterattack against Russian forces occupying swaths of Ukrainian territory in the country's east. Kiev on Sunday made a plea for operational silence ahead of the assault, discouraging public speculation over when and where it might strike.